extension field gf2 to the m arithmetic. Let's go back in time 10 minutes. I said, what are the elements of GFP of a prime field? And then I said, it's this trivial statement. Of course, the elements are numbers, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, integer numbers, right? Here starts the confusion. It's the first time we deal with an algebraic set with a finite field where the elements are not plain old boring integers, OK? Namely, this is A, which is already worth a, a subchapter. Let's call that element representation represent the elements of gf2 to the m or oh, by the way you know the general general extension fields are gf2 p to the m but we only need this AS case. In AS, we have GF2 to the M, so we, you know, we, we, we narrow our scope. We become an angle. We machen was sehr enges here. We only look at GF2 to the M. So the elements of GF2 to the M are polynomials. That means we look at these type of if you have an element gf2 to the m, you know the extension degree is m, 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 m. We start with m minus one. That means the highest the polynomial degree is m minus one and the highest coefficient is m minus one. And then you go down, blah 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 blah, and at the end you have a1 times x plus a zero. Okay. And if if you call this here this polynomial a for an x, a of x, then this a of x is a, is an element in the field. Okay? This polynomial is element of the field. That's is one strange thing. Okay, so now when we talk about polynomials, what is really interesting in polynomials, what are the coefficients, right? W once we know the polynomial coefficients, we want the coefficients are a0, a1, a2 up to a, m minus 1. Remember in the AES case, m is equal to 8. Here. So in the AES case, we have a0, a1, a2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to a7. That's the highest coefficient. So we have eight coefficients here. So it turns out that the, element, the coefficients ai are element of this field here, of gf2, which is the, wh what's called a subfield, you know, underneath the un Unterkörper, GF, okay, gf2. But what kind of field is GF2? Is GF2 an extension field? Is that an... No, it's not. Namely, how did we call GF2? What kind of field is that? Very, very good. Excellent. Sehr gut aufgepasst. The prime field. Okay. A very small, very boring, very tiny, small field with exactly two elements. Let me zero and one. Okay. Okay, so we look at this tiny field two, GF2 to the third, or 2 cube, 2 hoch 3. What we know is that any element must have this form, a2x squared plus a1x plus a0. Okay. So, and what are the possible values for a zero here? Zero and one. What are the possible values for a one? Zero, one, a two, zero, one. So we have three bits. 
Okay, this is now kind of a com computer science viewpoint on that. Forget about algebra and fields and theorems and blah, 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 blah. Properties. Let's look at the element representation. This can be 0 and 1, this can be 0 and 1, this can be 0 and 1. So we can really talk about this view that if we want as a vector, vector of bits, a three bit vector, right? Three bits here. How many different numbers can, how many different things can we represent with three bits? How many, how many different numbers can be expressed when we have three? Yeah? Eight, right? Two times two times two. Eight numbers. This is not bad because we talk about the field GF8, right? The so eight elements, and these elements are represented by this by three bits. Okay. And now you know what I sometimes do here, I, I say just the elements I put in curly brackets in Mengen Klammern here. In, and that's what I want to do now. I want to show you what are the elements. Okay. Well, one element is zero, 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 that's a zero. Another element, the next the next one, if you do this lexicographic enumeration, you have zero, zero, one. Okay. I mean, those two, the, the two higher, a1, a2 were zero, okay? And then we, you know, we had this equal to zero, zero to one. So the next thing we have to do, we have to set a1 to one, and then we get the expression. Um, I'm going to do that. X. Is this clear? If, if I have the polynomial X here, then this is zero, this is one, this is zero. Okay? Just as a, as a Nebenrechnung here. Everybody with me? All right? It's not very complicated. Okay. So now I, I'll, I'll continue. So if this set, this is still zero, one, zero, now I increment this to one, so I get x plus one. Okay. The next thing I have to do, I have to increase a2. And the easiest thing is I just have x square. Then I do x square plus 1, x square plus x, and x square plus x plus 1. These are the eight elements of GF2 to the 3. <laughs> so what I showed here, and this is, this is, this is not deep finite fields, it's just kind of en enumerating, durchnummerieren. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. You get your eight. You get your eight polynomials here. Okay, very simple. So what I showed you, and this is, this wasn't all that complicated. What I showed you here is um, that uh, what are the field elements is, and then I we looked. Okay, if you use this polynomial of degree m minus 1, that means you have m coefficients, a0, a1, up to a m minus 1, and each coefficient is a bit, you get exactly the number of elements you need. Okay? So far, so good. So right now, there hasn't... Well, something has happened here. That would, would be too much to say nothing has happened. So, but what we're interested now, the big thing is, and that's the last part of the lecture, is how to compute with the polynomials here. Okay? How to compute with polynomials. <laughs> Okay. Long story made short. Long story made short is C definition. Po 
433. What, what this tells us, the most, the most important thing is the first equation on, you know, in, in this box, in the definition. What this tells us is do a regular polynomial addition. So addition and subtraction is just the same as it we used to. Take your polynomial and add coefficient by coefficient. So it means a0 plus b0, a1 plus b1, okay? a2 times b2 and so forth. This is what your web browser does when the web browser send, encrypts an email, okay? Or credit card number or whatever, if HTTPS is active, okay? So, um, use regular use regular polynomial addition or subtraction. Okay. So, yeah, actually I was wrong. The most important line is here. You know, CI or the, the right-hand part of both equations. So you take AI minus BI for the subtraction, you do AI plus BI for the addition, okay? Very, very intuitive, very in, the intuitive, exactly what you would normally do. If I would give you two polynomials and I ask you, please add the polynomials, this is what you would do. There is one, there's one uh, uh, important small detail for, for GF2 to the M, or in general, use regular polynomial so subtraction, comma, where the coefficients, coefficient and coefficients are computed in GF2 again. That means when you do, when you add here at this point, if you add A0 and B0 as an example, you do that modulo 2 because the coefficients are in GF2. So it means the, the arithmetic of the coefficients are in the subfield. Let's do an example. Again, we use GF2 to the 3. So let's say this is uh, one of the elements. Okay, remember the elements here, it's the same example we did before. So I use this polynomial, and then I say I add that to this polynomial, okay? Or in, in binary representation, it takes this polynomial from here, and I add that to this polynomial. X, x squared plus x plus 1 is, B, is A, and then it's the, the other operand is B of x, which is, if there was 1, this is a plus b, so and you add now here, okay, and what you get is a plus a x square plus x plus 1 plus 1. But what is 1 plus 1 modulo 2? What is the result? Zero, right? Exactly. So this vanishes, they verschwindet. This stays and 1 plus 1 is 0 again, so that means this is x, okay? So if you do a minus b, you get the same result out, okay? This is, we, we did that when we talked about stream ciphers. Okay, so it seems, doesn't seem so bad, you know, it, it really is polynomial addition Adding and subtraction to elements in, in GF2 to the M is pretty straightforward, okay? 
And now probably comes the main operation that is painful, that, that it's difficult to do. And this is multiplication. Multiplication in the Galois field GF2 to the M. And now things start to get complicated. <laughs> 